One Panthers fan was particularly upset about yesterday's blowout at Everbank Stadium. The team's owner, in fact, David Tepper, is under fire after this video right here went viral. So this appears to show him throwing a drink toward a group of Jags fans near his suite. Zach Wilcox is on your side live tonight outside of Everbank Stadium. And Zach, this has become quite the talker for the Jaguars and the Panthers fans. We're hearing from a lot of people about this. Oh yeah, Jeannie, since we posted the video on our Facebook page, we have received dozens of comments from folks and a lot of them share the same sentiment. They feel if they did the same thing in that stadium, they'd be walking out of there in handcuffs. But is it illegal to pour a drink on someone? Let's verify. We can verify that yes, throwing a drink at someone is against Florida law. Our sources are attorney Andrew Bondarud, crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman, and chapter 784 of the Florida State Statutes. It's not only uh, actionable civilly, but it's a crime. Uh, it's not the most heinous crime. It's not a felony, but it is a crime. Florida Statute 784 defines battery as when a person actually and intentionally touches or strikes another person against the will of the other. There's a recent precedent for this. In May, a woman was arrested in Walton County and charged with two counts of battery for pouring a glass of wine on U.S. Representative Matt Gates. Battery does require the victim to actually be touched, but even if the drink misses, Bondarud says it's still against the law. If he threw something at someone intending to hit them but missed, that's still a crime. That's assault. In terms of a lawsuit, Bondarud says it could be taken up in a civil court but feels damages could be tough to prove. A plaintiff could nevertheless recover what are called nominal damages. And, you know, would it be worthwhile for a plaintiff and a plaintiff attorney to file such a case? I don't know. Crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman says disorderly conduct could also be relevant, but a charge like that usually only applies in the heat of the moment. Law enforcement likes to witness things like that before they actually arrest people. I mean, and after the fact on that one, I don't think that, no, that would, uh, we wouldn't have a, a sustainable charge there. I reached out to the NFL to see if Tepper is going to face any kind of uh, fines or a suspension, any sort of penalty for this. And they responded saying that they do know of the video. However, they don't have any further comment at this point. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News on your side.